Hey everybody, Rachel here from reachthestamper.com and I wanted to share a really quick video with you. Um, I'm going to be heading out on vacation, so this will be my last video probably for about a good week and a half or so. Um, we're heading on a really fun trip with our son and I'm really looking forward to some time to just relax. And so I wanted to give you that, guys this really quick video on something I'd seen another demonstrator do and I really apologize I don't know who it was but I thought it would be a really fun idea to do with the up and away thinlets or the lift me up stamp set obviously you could use any other stamp set for this but I went with this because I'll show you I have these cool cards and I'm gonna show you how I did two of them so one of each these I already um, taped down the designer series paper but this also coordinates right now with the paper that you can get free from Celebration. So I thought I would share this with you because it was very simple, very easy, and something that you might be able to use for free. As you can see, I have a lot of this. I really, really, really love this paper. It's the Carried Away Designer Series paper. This is one of my favorites. I love this. Just reminds me of being in an airplane. But there's so many different designs you could use here. You have your um, little navy and white, which is absolutely adorable. Or you could just use the clouds. You could use, if you wanted to make something a little more fun, you could use the orange. Or there's plain dots on the back. There's so many really pretty patterns in this. But this you can get free. You get one thing free celebration wise with every $50 purchase so there's this paper let me show you a couple other things just quickly sorry I never have this handy when I need it there's this paper which I love so that's really cool and here's all the different designs this is another really cute card as well you could also use the balloons and make a whole bunch of balloons or use the designer series paper make a whole bunch of them. There is the Tasty Truck stamp set, Avant Garden, the Thank You, and then also, so some ribbon, there's another designer series paper, there's the trucks everybody loves, a little card tin, Hey Chick, and there's also even a, a designer tee, Matt coordinates with the designer tee stamp set, and there's also a card kit. And right now they also have um, Glimmer Paper. It's three colors, and I believe it is Emerald Envy, Sweet Sugar Plum, and I can never remember the last one, Bermuda Bay, I think. It's a uh, Glimmer Paper stack, so it's six by six. And then they have a really pretty medallion stamp set. And then the third thing, my goodness, what is it? Oh, Reverse Words. I know I got that one too. I don't have the brochure for that, but those are available online as well. Um, if you go to reach the stamper to my previous post, I believe there is one as well. But anyway, this is a really quick way to make cards in different shapes. So I saw someone and they did cards. So basically, this is a standard card base cut in half. So you could do it either way. So you could take your card base. Let me just grab one I have that's already in two. Oh my gosh. Why is it whenever you need something, you can never find it? It's right here in my fingertips. I just can't pull it out. So this is a piece of Knight of Navy. So if this were your regular piece, which is five and a half by eight and a half, you score it at four and a quarter. So if you were going to do this one here, you just cut it in half and then you can get two cards out of it. Okay, or if you would do your card lengthwise, so then it would be five and a half by 11, no, four and a quarter by 11, and then you cut it in half at five and a half, so then you'd have two lengthwise pieces. So if you can imagine that this is a card this way, so these are two lengthwise pieces. So I thought this was a really fun way to make just something different, and you also could make a bunch of different cards, give these to friends. I thought it was fun because you could use the designer series paper. Um, this is on the thick whisper white cardstock. So these are going to be two and these two I already glued down. So I'm going to make some more embellishments for these, but I'm going to show you what I came up with this. So what we're going to do is we're just going to adhere this designer series paper to our card base. So I kind of just gave this like a quarter inch trim. So you'd have the nice, um, base around it not base a frame a little frame around it and 
So you could do the same thing. You could do like a little bit of a tone one tone, but a couple of different ideas. So I thought this would be fun to do. I ran this through. This is with the up and away thinlets dies. I ran this through a piece of Knight of Navy because that does coordinate with this paper. So I'm going to just pop, I don't know if I'm going to pop this up yet or just put this down. Another idea I got for the blue one here is I stamped two of the balloons. So there's the bigger and the smaller hot air balloon and that is in the Lift Me Up stamp set. I stamped those in Watermelon Wonder. Um, I also cut out a couple of clouds from the Up and Away Thinlets die. This is a bigger one. There's uh, several different clouds in here. It's about four total long, two smaller ones, and then like a medium sized card. And then you also have the option with the little heart here to make the heart cut out card. So that's another card, another type of a cloud you could do. And then yet another way is if you use a piece of peekaboo peach cardstock. And then I did white embossing powder with the uh, large balloon. Just heated it up. And there you go. So there's another one that you could do as well if you want to do something different. But I thought what we could do for these is I'm going to glue these down and then I'm going to figure out which um, sentiment I want to use. And I pulled out two um, two stamp sets that are from the annual catalog. So again, this is like I've been on this theme with old and new. So what we're going to do is we're going to do one with the little sending thoughts your way. So this could be like a sympathy, a thinking of you, you know, any kind of cheer you up kind of card or I've been thinking of you kind of card and then the other one we're just going to make into a thank you card and this is from thankful thoughts so we're going to use the thanks and then the send, sending thoughts your way to make these two so let me just move this stuff out of the way so I don't lose anything okay so we're just going to use a little piece of scrap and I do have one piece this is the um shimmery white cardstock and then the other one is just regular whisper white cardstock. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do yet. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp both of these. And I think for both of them, I'm going to go ahead and just stick with the Knight of Navy. Just because I think it'll tie them together a little better. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp the thanks. And I think, I think I'm going to do the thanks on the, um, the shimmery white. So make sure I have that get nice and coated. And that looks cute. Okay. So we'll just leave this to dry for a moment. And then a little tiny one. This is the th sending thoughts your way. Do the same thing. We'll just do this on the regular white. Let's see. Sorry if I try not to get my head in there. That's cute. A little crooked, but maybe we can, eh, let's try and straighten that out. Let's try that one more time. Do you remember this one's a little crooked? So let me try. Yeah, better. Not great. Really wanted to get technical with it. I could get out the um, stamp a jig And if you are going to use that, you just stamp your um, image on something when you're using the stamp a, -a jig part. But kind of just for idea of it, I'll just kind of do that. So I'm going to straighten it out. So if I would go that way, let me just eyeball it, see if that helps. No, still crooked. No biggie. <laughs> That's what happens when you're doing late night stamping. <laughs> All right, so we're going to stick with this little sideways one, and we'll figure out a way to make it work. Let me just move these two off to the side. I'm going to move this Knight of Navy out of the way for a moment. And then what we're going to do is we're going to figure out how we're going to put our cards. So I think with these two here, I definitely want to um, pop these up on a dimensional. So let me grab some dimensionals. And this is a great way too. if you have little tiny pieces, we're going to use that for the balloon, but you can use little tiny pieces instead of big ones. So we'll just put one on here and two on the bigger one. And I think we'll just put the cloud flat. So I'm just going to attach just to the end of the cloud because we might have them hanging off because you will still use a full size envelope for this. Um, because if not, you can't mail it or you can always pop it in a gift card if you want or a gift bag, I should say, if you want. So we'll kind of put that so it's a little bit off to the side and maybe do the little balloon up here and this one over here. Okay, and let's just figure out a way we want to do this card. So if we do it straight, just like that. 
sending thoughts your way. We can kind of make it so it goes across. We could do that. We could make a little bit of a banner punch down here just by nipping the ends with our scissors to make a little banner. And we do it like that. I mean, that's cute, just like that. We'll just trim the end off a little bit. And how about we'll just adhere that down? So just a simple card. Okay, so there's one. Again, this is white on the inside, so you can write whatever you want, but it does give this a lot of uh, dimension, a lot of fun to this card. Now this one, so ordinarily you could just glue this down, you really could, but I want to try to find a way to pop it up because I think it would be more fun just because it's going to give a little bit more dimension to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our dimensionals and these little tiny half pieces here, we're going to half them. So we'll see if we can figure out a way to just put a couple tiny pieces. So we can probably, because you kind of want to hide them if you can, we can probably fit one there. And we can probably fit one on the other side right there. Okay, and then we might be able to get one up here and up here. So that would give us enough just to give a little bit of lift. Yep, one. And try that. Two. Let's see. I really would like to get one in the middle, but... I don't think we're going to be able to do that without it being, unless we put a cloud behind there, but we could put a cloud in front. That'll be even better. How about that? Genius, brilliant idea. So then we'll be able to put one back behind there because it's going to stick up. So how about that? We're going to go ahead and put one in the middle, but I'm going to wait. I'm going to attach this first. Just put a little bit of snail. And just kind of eyeball where you think you want it to go. We'll say maybe about there, and we'll go ahead and put our dimensional on the back. Perfect. Okay, and then we're just gonna give these a really good press since they're really tiny, just so when you pull off the backing, you don't dislodge this from your balloon. Meanwhile, I probably said this was gonna be a quick video, and I'm sure I'm already racking up the minutes because apparently I don't know how much I talk. <laughs> there, that's really cute. That's so fun. Okay, so then we're going to just take our thanks and instead, let me think what punch I can use. All right, bear with me. Let me grab a punch. I just, um, I just reworked my craft room. I'm sorry. So things are a little farther apart than I think they are. So this is the um, decorative label punch and what we'll do with this is we're going to, I did this with the girls at the craft or the um, stamp party, I did that long, not that long ago, is we're going to just take this, we're going to slide it in and it'll just give us like a little bit different, I don't know if you can see that or not, different of a punch. It's just something different. So what you do is you just take your paper that you want and it does have to be thinner than the punch and you're just going to slide it in between and you can kind of hold it down a little bit to eyeball where you want it you're not just not going to punch it yet I'm going to move it out just a teeny bit and then you just pop it through so that's something just a little bit different and kind of put this on top on the bottom but I think that looks really really cute now I just have to figure where do I want it takes away from the car too much. I think I'll put it down at the bottom left. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little bit of adhesive. Put that right here. I don't know, just a little askew. I think it looks cute. Okay, so there you go. So those are, um, and you could use any punch for this. Like, I was going to actually grab the, um, the new classic label punch, which has the little divots, and then you could just have the opposite arrows punching. So that'll be fun too. But you can use any any type of punch for this just to get a different feel. Anything you might have hanging around that you haven't used in a while or you can't figure out what it is you want to do. But anyway, so if you do this, you could actually get four cards because you could have two if you cut a regular card piece. And then you cut this in half. Same thing for this one. Instead, you could maybe put just one little 
balloon or one little cloud or you could try embossing or just do something different. So that would be a really easy way to make a lot more cards kind of quicker because you could change up your designer series paper. That would be really fun. So I think you guys should give this a try. Again, I do wish I could remember who whose video I saw doing this. It was definitely it's definitely someone on YouTube. So that narrows it down to like what a million people at least, right? <laughs> so anyway, this is a really fun card to make. I hope you guys will give it a try. You could do this with any 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 type of designer series paper at all. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to shoot me either an email at reachthestamper at gmail.com or you can leave a comment right here on YouTube. Um, you can find me on re at Reach the Stamper if you haven't already. I'd appreciate it if you subscribed. It does mean a lot to me. I'm getting close. I believe I have 1,400 subscribers, which is crazy because I've been doing this for probably a year, maybe a little bit less, which is truly impressive to me because I wasn't going to do this at all and I thought... I'll just try it. We'll see what happens. I'm sure nobody's going to watch me make a video about cards. So thanks guys for subscribing. And once I get a little bit closer to the 1500 mark, I'm going to start to do another contest with a giveaway. I hope you guys will like that. Um, follow me again though. I am on Facebook. I'm on YouTube. You can find me on Pinterest. All those that reach the stamper. And I would love, if you don't have a demonstrator, I would love to be your demonstrator. So you can always shoot me an email. Now is a great time to sign up to be a Stampin' Up! demonstrator if that's something you would like to do. It's awesome because you get two bonus stamp sets from Stampin' Up! right now. You get $125 worth of products for $99, which is an amazing deal. You get a discount on all future purchases. And I'll throw in a little extra bonus right now if you sign up under me as a new demonstrator. Um, but again, you can get all these supplies 24-7 in my online store at reachthestamper.stampinup.net. Thanks guys for watching and I hope to get back to you with some new videos really soon. Take care.